Hello again, students. This is the second part of the chapter control and coordination. So, in the previous video, we have learned that uh, involuntary and voluntary movements of the animals is controlled by nervous system. So, what about in plants? They do not have any nervous system, students. They just have xylem and phloem. So, how do they control their movements? Some people have a misconception that plants do not move they don't show any movement that is very wrong students i will show you two videos that can prove that there is movement in plants so let's see the video and get back to the lesson So students, hope you have watched the video. We have seen in the video that touch me not plant. This plant, if we touch, that touch is a stimuli students. Uh, so when we touch, it closes its leaves. Why does it close? Because of self-defense. So when a st external stimuli is applied, it will uh, change its internal shape or structure. So this is one type of movement. Also, you can see a plant grows only towards the sunlight. The, the upper portion of a plant that is stem and leaves tends to move towards the sunlight. Why is this? I will show a video of this one too. First, let us classify these two. One movement is dependent on growth. That is a plant moving towards sunlight is dependent on growth and uh, a stimuli acting to the stimuli and closing your leaves the touch me not plant this is independent of growth register today at klm institute for free online classes revisions doubt clearance private online and offline classes olympiad exams and win prizes, scholarships and much more. First, we will look into the movements that are independent of growth. So, how does plant communicate with each other? Like in the, inside the leaves, how do they communicate with all the cells? So, even they use electrical and chemical means like us. If you watch the first video, you will understand how. So, but they, they do not have any specialized tissue. We have nervous system, but they do not have any nervous system for themselves. They just use water students. You can see here, I have written two points here. Plants use electrical chemical means to convey this information from cell to cell. But unlike animals, there is no specialized tissue in plants for the conduction of information. But plant cells change their shape by changing the amount of water students. Okay. Imagine uh, you touch the plant. Okay. You touch the plant somewhere in the tip of the plant what is connected to the this midrib this midrib and here will be the leaf okay i will uh, draw here this is the center portion and here are the leaves okay this connection here the water can be lost or gained to change the shape of the plants to get this Okay, you can see here, leaves are closed. Now, let us see the movements dependent on growth. Let me show you a video first.
students hope you have watched the video very carefully you can see that leaves are shifting or growing towards the light this process is known as phototropism you can see here photo means light students so if photo means light and tropism means the growth of plant towards light then you can call it as plant shoot shows positive phototropism so we have other movements also like this in plants that is geotropism chemotropism hydrotropism so all the what is geotropism that is based on gravity roots grow downwards that is positively geotropic and shoots are negatively geotropic they grow against the gravity you can see here in this experiment if you tilt a pot a shoot goes towards up and the root goes down and also chemotropism this is very important phenomena uh, we will uh, study in detail about this in the sexual reproduction of plants also hydrotropism to know that water uh, root uh, the plant root is attracted to water you can do this experiment you can take a closed vessel and put soil in it and one side of the soil you can put water and uh, you can place the plant next to it you can see that after few days the root will grow towards the water beautiful isn't it students so plant do have so many movements in them so how do they carry out such movements okay electric impulses and chemical impulses are okay that is that is happening in the immediate response but here we are using only chemical communication because uh, students this is the cell of a plant okay imagine four cells you can see here uh, i'll draw the nucleus too this is the cell wall outer cell wall this is the cell wall and this is the nucleus okay and uh, all these are they cannot be connected by one nervous tissue to send an electric impulse so what do they do but they all have chemical communication strands in between them they communicate in the form of hormones so what are these hormones give your imagination wings if you are willing to write something what are you waiting for share your ideas and thoughts let your ideas reach out to millions get your articles published through our blogs for free we can have auxins we have gibberellins we have cytokinins and abscisic acid so auxins i will give the example of auxin imagine this cell this particular cell here recognizes a light source from here okay this uh, what happens is it produces auxins so when this produces auxin the neighboring cells get a signal okay this cell is producing auxin so i have to go towards this side this side is the light so i am growing towards that side so this is just in case of auxin it also happens in uh, gibberellin cytokinins it is depending on the stimuli of the abiotic factors that is uh, light it might be water it might be gravity so all the cells are connected chemically and uh, these chemicals are known as hormones so you can uh, remember these auxins gibberellin cytokinins and uh, abscisic acid so auxins help the cell to grow longer so you can imagine right the 
if it helps in the growth it can tell where to grow and where not to grow so gibberlins also help in the growth of stem or uh, shoot system so cytokinins promote cell division now you know what is cell division right here the nuclei will break and forms a new cell this also is a very important hormones in plants and this is very also very important students abscisic acid inhibits the growth that is it tells plant stop growing so you can coordinate all these hormones in the plant and uh, it will uh, show all type of uh, geotropism hydrotropism okay this is about movements dependent on growth so students i hope you have understood about the movement dependent on growth in plants so what about human students do we also have hormones of course we have so many hormones and they also play a major role in all of our life processes so we will look into that in the next part uh, so this will be the end of second part see you in the third part students have a great day